Romeo and Juliet may be history's most enduring pair of star-crossed lovers, but they certainly weren't the first to fall for a supposedly off-limits partner. Some 90,000 years before William Shakespeare first brought the warring Capulets and Montarks to life, two hominins overcame what seems like an insurmountable obstacle. One was a Neanderthal, the other an entirely different species known as the Denisovan, to create a thriving interspecies family. This was found from a discovery of a fossil from Siberia of a young female which they called Denisova 11 and later got the name Denny. Denny's remains came in 2010 when scientists found a small fragment of a finger bone in the Denisova cave. Denny was estimated to have died at a very young age at around 13 years old and was laid to rest in a cave perched along the remote Atlai mountain range. Denny, also known as Denisova 11, is an ancient human individual whose remains were discovered in the Denisova cave, Siberia, Russia. Belonging to a group known as the Denisovans, Denny provides a fascinating glimpse into a distinct and elusive branch of human evolutionary history. Her discovery has shed light on the genetic diversity, migration patterns and interbreeding that characterized our ancient past. In this video, we will explore the significance of Denny's fossil and the valuable insights it has provided into the enigmatic world of the Denisovans. According to the New York Times, Carl Zimmer, scientists first identified the Denisovan species in 2010 when they found a bone fragment representing a previously unknown group of early humans. Although the Denisovans are distinct from Neanderthals and modern humans, researchers know little about their appearance or behavior. While analyzing the bone, mitochondrial DNA was extracted, which was found to contain distinct genes passed on by one's mother from the sample and found that it contained genetic material similar to that seen in Neanderthals. Further analysis of the fragment's nuclear DNA inherited from both parents, however, yielded equal amounts of Denisovan DNA. According to reports, Denisova 11's mother was more closely related to Neanderthals dwelling in Western Europe than those residing in the Siberian cave some 120,000 years ago. Denisova's paternal relatives, on the other hand, stuck to the region surrounding the cave. Denisova III, the hominin whose pinky toe first led scientists to the species, lived in the area a few thousand years after Denisova XI. This finding is interesting because most archaeological evidence indicates that Neanderthals, unlike modern humans, were not interested in long-distance movement. They don't seem to have moved much beyond relatively constrained territories which provided everything they needed for day-to-day -day life. Although the finger bone of Denny is the only physical evidence of her existence, her genetic material has provided valuable insights into the Denisovans as a distinct human lineage. BBC News' Helen Briggs notes that Neanderthals lived largely in the western regions of Eurasia, while Denisovans strayed closer to the east. As the former migrated east, however, chance encounters between the two groups are likely resulted in interspecies mingling. Svante Pabo said that Neanderthals and Denisovans may not have had many opportunities to meet, but when they did, they must have made it frequently much more so than we previously thought. Denny's discovery has broadened our understanding of human evolutionary history. By studying the Denisovans and their interactions with other ancient humans, researchers continue to uncover fascinating details about the complexity of our species' past. Today, both Neanderthal and Denisovan genes continue to crop up in modern humans' DNA. 
2% of most European and Asian population's DNA is Neanderthal, while 4-6% to of modern Melanesians' DNA derives from Denisovans. The gene that allows Tibetan people to survive high altitudes is also believed to have been inherited from them. The discovery of Denny, the Denisovan girl, has fundamentally altered our understanding of human evolution. Through her fossil remains, scientists have unraveled the mysteries of the Denisovans, a group previously unknown to science. Denny's genetic material has revealed their genetic distinctiveness and their interbreeding with Neanderthals and early modern humans. Her story showcases the complex web of human history highlighting the interconnectedness of various hominin groups and the remarkable adaptability and diversity of our species. As research continues, Denny's legacy will continue to contribute to our knowledge of our ancient ancestors and the remarkable journey that has led us to where we are today. Well, thanks for staying with us till the end, friends. Before you go, Please do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.